So Hassan wants this book, right? Hassan, do you have $4? Does anyone have $4 to lend him? So if Hassan doesn't have $4, how else can he pay for this book? Okay, good. I wanted purpose in my life, and I've discovered that my purpose is to create a movement that would change lives. I wanted to create something new and fresh, but I wanted to involve reading. I thought about that and I said, wait, well, if I like to shop for books, wouldn't other people like to shop for books? But wait, they don't have the money to pay for these books. You know how many kids were left out of those scholastic book fairs? I was one of them. It hit me. What if we changed the currency? It was like this light went off in my head. What if these kids can pay for it using exercise? Starting anything is difficult, yet alone an organization from scratch. First obstacles that I encountered was, well, I went homeless. I left everything behind just to collect books to launch this program. I thought about quitting and I thought about giving up. You know, I was just so overwhelmed with starting something that was bigger than me. How you doing? We have free books right over here. But what if we took this program to the streets? We did it as a fundraising effort. So what we would do, each label had the exercise, but on the bottom of the label, it had our GoFundMe page. The whole mission was support us so we can bring this program into the public schools. We're gonna yell out, buy your favorite books using exercise, guys, let's go. We're gonna try to you know, stir up some awareness and some attention and hopefully this gets us the support that we need. What if you were able to walk into Barnes & Nobles, get your favorite book and say, hey, I don't wanna pay 10 bucks for it, I wanna give you 10 push-ups. My idea worked. And I'm proud to say that about a year later, we were able to go into 24 public schools in New York City with this program. And because of that amazing opportunity, we were able to award, I would say, over 22,000 books to children in New York City alone. And people are starting to realize, like, this is something totally out of the ordinary. You're providing affordability, you're providing accessibility. And now we walk into these schools and every single kid could participate, every single child. So we're at the Boys and Girls Club in Newark. We've been invited by the newly appointed CEO, Rodney Fuller, an amazing man who believes that Get Focus deserves to be in this community. We invited him to partner with us here because of the educational challenges and literacy-based issues for the young people of a community like this, they could benefit from Golden's approach. Because they're gonna love this. That's kind of what Get Focus events are, it's a celebration. Books can change your life. A book can expand your vocabulary, a book can expand your imagination, and then a book can become a gift. Let's say this book was worth a random act of kindness. I say, well, I want you to think about someone. I want you to think of a friend, a coworker, a family member, and I want you to go back to the bookstore and pick a book out for them. Gift it to that person, right? Be ready for that, yeah. and that's how you earn this book for yourself. That's an exercise. That's an exercise for the heart. Truthfully, I think it caught on because of our energy. We don't delegate to children and to young people, we participate. So when our trainers walk into the facilities, we're gonna participate with these kids. If they're gonna run laps, we're gonna run laps. So this book right here is worth 12 invisible wall suits. You ready? You're gonna count with me. For a long time, people seen, especially young people, fitness as a punishment. And we wanted to kind of change that and say, well, no, it's not a punishment. It's a way to empower yourself. This book is yours. They walk out happy. They walk out with the seeds of fitness and literacy planted into their heads. Say, I want to exercise, I want to read. Get focused. What I love about Golden is that the fact that he goes out to the community instead of just talking about it, his actions overrides his words. And that's the most beautiful thing about it. Eight years ago, I heard these two words and they changed my life. Those two words motivate me, those two words inspire me, they empower me, they give me energy. When I hear these two words, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't have a definition sometimes to me. Because for me, it's a feeling. That's really what I want it to be for you guys. I want Get Focused to be a feeling. I needed someone to come and tell me they cared about me and tell me that I had a purpose in life. And that's really what we try to do with these children. We try to make them feel like we truly care about them and we truly believe that there is a purpose for them.